Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is part 2 of scenario based question series. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. Our first question is, there are 4 regions with sales in the view. When users select any regions, then selected region should be on one line chart and other region should be on other line chart how you can do it let's understand this question so we have four regions with sales and then we need to show selected regions on one line chart and unselected region on another line chart okay to create a line chart we need date field as well without date field we can't create line chart okay so let's do it first we will create the sets of the region so that we can show in and out values Go to create, go to set and select all and deselect one value. Okay, so that we can have in and out. Just click on OK. Now let's drag our order date and change it to continuous month and drag our sales as well. Okay. Now let's drag region set so that we can show this is in and this is out now let's drag region set into the filter and change the filter to show in and out of the set so that we can get both the values okay now go with so set okay now as you can see we have selected three regions that is central east and south that is showing under in and west is showing under out okay when we unselect south as well now under in we are showing central and east and under out we are showing south and west okay this is how you can solve this problem okay let's move to our next question find rolling quarter sales rolling quarter sales is basically last quarter sales okay for this we will create a calculated field first rename it rolling quarter sales and then we'll use our logic if date diff will calculate the difference between max date and order date based on quarter then we'll call our order date and now we'll calculate the max of order date okay and equal to zero equal to zero basically to find out the rolling quarter will use zero if you want to find out last to last quarter then you can use one and then it will give sales and and our calculation okay we are getting error because we cannot mix aggregate and non aggregate value to resolve this problem, we can use our LOD. You can write LOD by two ways to make it valid. Either you can just add these curly brackets or you can mention fix LOD as well. Okay, both will work. And now just click on OK. Now let's drag our order date and change it to quarter and months. Rotate it now let's drag our sales here okay now you can see we are getting the data of last quarter or rolling quarter okay if you want to find out last to last quarter you can just make it to one and click on apply now you can see you can find out last to last quarter okay this is how you can solve the problem let's move to our next question how to find top 5 customers of all categories with sales ok to do this just drag category customer names and sales ok now we will assign the rank based on sales to do this just replicate it right click on it go to quick table calculation and go to rank ok 
now the rank is assigned to all the customers based on sales okay but we want the rank based on our categories so to do this just go here go to compute using pen down okay and now let's sort it let's show the label now you can see for furniture it is showing rank one let's check for others as well now for office supply as well it is showing the rank of customer based on sales okay how we can find top five customers to do this just drag this into filters and change it to five and click on okay now change it to table and sort the value okay now we are getting top five customers for furniture top five customer for office supplies and top five customer for technology okay let's move to our last question there are line chart showing sales over month in the view and user wants to dynamically highlight above and below average sales how you can do it first let's create a line chart and month and then go to sales okay now user wants average line let's apply on table and so how we can make it dynamically so we can go to edit go to their value and we can go create parameter okay rename it average value and current value should be 50,000 and click on okay okay if you change it to 40,000 this value will change okay now one part is over second part is he wants to highlight above and below average okay so how you can highlight it for this let's create a field and rename it highlight if sum of sales is greater than average values then above average else below average okay and then end our calculation and click on okay now let's add this into color and go to here and customize it for above color we'll assign it green color and for below let's assign a red color and click on okay now we have highlighted all the values if you change it to 60,000 and click on okay now you can see above the average lines are highlighted with green colors and and below the average line is highlighted with red color okay this is how you can solve the problem that's it for this video thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos